Hello and welcome to Open Access Wikipedia Challenge. This section is about Wikipedia forensics, so looking beyond just the page that you read whenever you search for an article. Uh, along here we're going to cover such topics as the talk page, uh, the how to view the history of a page. Then we're going to look into some of the user pages and how users communicate with one another. And lastly end with a little treat which is the uh, bi-directional what links here button. And I'll explain that and that's my favorite part um, a bit later. Uh, the homework here uh, is going to be to um, do a little do some forensics on uh, an article uh, and also find some sort of surprising uh, details about articles uh, from uh, the other ways that people have been integrating them into the encyclopedia. Uh, so they'll be posting a couple of um, quiz answers there and, uh, at the end of it. So let's load up a web browser um, and go to that website which we enjoy going to so much. And we'll just pick any article. This works for all articles. Um, the one I'm going to select here, just to um, pretend to be trolling you only ever so slightly, is the Gangnam Style article. Uh, this is uh, a Korean K-pop video, if you didn't know, and it's um, the site's third most watched video ever. So it's really highly climbing. It's got 510 million views at the moment. So would it go number one? question everyone's wanting to know. So, you know, if you, you, I'm, how did I understand that? Well, I just read the front of the article, right? Uh, I call it the front of the article because on Wikipedia it's important to understand that there are, is a duality uh, amongst pages. There's both the article page, which is this one, and then there's also the talk page, uh, and that's a discussion about the page, right? So it's a meta page. And every article or every page on Wikipedia is in fact two pages. So. Uh, keep that in mind. So uh, would you like to see what it looks like? Let's click on the talk button and see what we get. So um, if you click on the talk button of Gangnam Style, you'll see uh, all the things people have been saying about it. So we know now that there's a request that's been made for this article to be peer reviewed uh, to receive a broader perspective on how it may be improved. So uh, we also find out that there are some wiki projects that are working on this article, uh, specifically songs, dance, career and culture. Um, there's been a merge proposal on it, um, so the, let's take a look at what this uh, merge proposal is. Uh, the question is, do we really need both a Gangnam Style article and the Gangnam Style Phenomenon article? Um, it seems to me that the, the info could be merged into a single article, there's one, one anonymous, anonymous comment here. Uh, and the response here from A1 Canada is, this article is really about the synopsis, you know, the reception, the charts, um, that has become a phenomenon, its impact outside music and entertainment. Um, and so it's well documented and significant enough to deserve its own page, uh, uh, in his humble opinion, says. Uh, but perhaps uh, her as well, could be. Uh, in their humble opinion, A1 Canada has, has said this. So. Um, this is where people can decide about you know, the scope of the article, and sometimes it goes all the way down even just to the sentence level. So if you ever want to understand a bit more about what the people have been writing about, or you want to make comments about how to improve the article yourself, even without writing it, you can uh, look at the talk page uh, and edit the talk page. And I'll show you how to edit a bit later on as well. So the, another thing that would be useful um, is, on an, if we go back to the article page, um, is this is the way it currently stands at the moment, but we know it's being edited all the time. So you probably want to look at the view history page. Um, so like on across the top here, we have article, talk. We just looked at that. You can read. Um, normally this will say edit, but if it's locked, you can it will just say view source. And at the moment, this page has got a silver lock on it, so it means it's semi-protected. Um, so if you have a bit more editing experience you, or uh, a larger edit history, you might be able to edit that. Um, so let's click on view history for the moment because that's what we're looking at. So when you click on view history, you're presented with this page um, that's sort of a special page. And as you scroll down, you'll start to see a list of all the edits that have been made on them, made there. Uh, and so what you can do and what's interesting to do on these pages uh, is to you're, you're able to compare two different pages in what's known as a diff, and a diff means to look at the difference of two pages. So for each line, you'll get um, these buttons which are like, you can click to see the difference between the current and the previous versions. You could have, there are buttons here that you can select the differences you, if you wanted to see manually. You'll get a date or a timestamp um, of when that edit occurred. And lastly, you'll get, oh, not lastly, you'll get also get uh, the username of 
whoever, whomever uh, edited. You will get a link to their talk page if you want to talk to them. You can see a list of their entire contribution history. You can see how many bytes were changed. And then at the end, there'll be an, uh, an edit message um, that the user was able to enter in to tell you about the uh, about the change that was made. So that's why it's important to uh, write a description about your edit when you do make edits, because it allows this page to be quite useful, where you can see what happened to an article just by reading the change messages. Okay, so let's see. Let's make a comparison between the current the way the article currently stands and the way uh, it was before one revision revision before that. So I'll click this compare um, compare revision styles, and what's happened here is that. There was this. You're looking at the wiki text, uh, which I'll explain a bit more in the next video about what wiki text is. But you'll see that um, s there was some text removed here. Um, so whereas this uh, this note for including this JPEG image for the Songdo style, um, which is 150 pixels wide, it's a thumbnail, uh, and then the label, which normally read GCF Songdo style from the official promotional video. Uh, now it only reads GCF Songdo style. So that was the last edit that was made. Um, not a particularly large, you know, huge edit um, here. And there was also some grammatical um, changes made from was to were um, by this author. So what's interesting is that I can actually keep on stepping back. So if I click this previous edit button, I'm going to continually go backwards in time and see um, the differences between all these different edits. Um, this sometimes uh, takes a while to load in the database, so this can be a bit of a slower button to press, um, but eventually it does work. So um, you can, one of the huge benefits about Wikipedia is that it's actually quite intuitive to continue to step back um, through all the different um, revisions of all the different of, of the um, of, of the article, so here we're going to look at what happened before, at the second most recent change because we click previous but um, previous uh, revision and we can see that the access date for one of the citations, which is the YouTube chart uh, page has been changed uh, or was actually removed uh, because it seems like because they're citing YouTube and it's, the uh, position of uh, Gangnam Style in the charts is changing so often somebody decided that it actually wasn't very useful to include the access date of the citation um, for this web citation of the YouTube um, chart videos. So that's interesting and if we had enough time and curiosity we could keep on stepping back. Um, if we return to the view history page once more, I'll just show you see that um, this, this is, these are the latest entries, but you can also click on earliest, and then you'll get the page uh, with the 50 earliest uh, entries, uh, revision, sorry, and then you can see that these are from like sort of August. Um, so this is the page where it's going to be useful for you to uh, understand when the first uh, edition of the Gangnam Style article was released and you'll be asked to calculate how soon after the YouTube video was released that there was the first Wikip English Wikipedia article on it. So this is where you can do that uh, by clicking this earliest button. Um, well actually let's just go quickly. So who? I, my question now is who was the first uh, user to edit um, Gangnam Style and we can see there through the view history page um, and it's actually EasyCron uh, HD is the username um, this is like another account from a user who previously was known as EasyCron and this person appears to be a photographer and enjoys taking a lot of photography uh, for Wikipedia uh, a lot of cityscapes it seems like here um, one the most useful thing about the user page is to declare some information about yourself if you feel like it or if the user feels like it but also to leave messages and like so the messaging system on Wikipedia is to use the talk page of the user page uh, so this is easy Chron HD's user page um, there's a couple of guidelines here about um, that were posted by Mikhailov Kusaro um, about you know in, informing this person about how to edit and a lot of links here um, and then there's some messages. Okay, so orphaned non-free media file is the title. So apparently, and I looked through this uh, earlier on, that this um, user used a file uh, under the claim of fair use, um, and I think it was the front cover of a CD single 
from by the Gangnam Style article. Uh, but it, that picture is no longer being used, so it's actually orphaned, uh, which means that no articles are including this photograph. So it's basically an unnecessary risk for um, Wikipedia or the Wikimedia Foundation to be displaying fair use uh, content it, or hosting fair use content if no articles are using it. So actually this message was generated by uh, another robot which is, is um, programmed to look for these sorts of things. So this user is notified of that and if this user thinks that it's and then this user is actually you can see is remove the file because this file is now a red link and red links mean that those pages don't exist. So it means that this was actually a useful message and that's how people communicate on Wikipedia. Okay, the last thing let we'll take a look at is if we step back in the history a bit more. Um, oops. And we go back to the article, the Gangnam Star just article page. Actually, we just want to read, so it might have been better just to click read here. Um, one thing that I really like is that on Wikipedia, not only can you take links forwards by just clicking on a link as we normally do, but you can also take links backwards. And the way that you do that is that in the left-hand side is a sidebar, uh, and one of the collapsible uh, menus here is the toolbox. And under there is what links here. And this shows you all the pages which have links to the page Gangnam Style or links to the page from which you clicked what links here. Um, so you can see that uh, the, the page for Gangnam District links to Gangnam Style, um, list of Berkeley College Music Alumni um, links here, La Dadida, Perez Hilton. Why is Perez Hilton linked to Gangnam Style? I'm not sure, but if we click on the page uh, and then we do a control F for Gangnam. So we'll know that um, we can see the, here that Hilton appears in the Matty B cover of Size Gangnam Style uh, as an encyclopedia um, piece of information here. Um, not particularly surprising maybe because it is sort of a pop culture art, um, article. Um, but if we go back, I sorry, I press delete there to go back on a page backspace one. You can look at all the pages which link here. So this is kind of an interesting way to browse, I think, on Wikipedia, uh, which is that you can you can take these links backwards, and I think that's really useful. So uh, I'd encourage you to play with the what links here, um, what links here button on different pages. And uh, so part of your assignment um, or task is to look through here and think about and find look at one of the pages um, that links to Gangnam Style and think and say which one do you think most surprisingly links to. Style. So just some uh, exercise there in using the what links here button.